the play is essentially like you know those are going to be those are quattro those represent quattro cinco stakes right in a hex. So the incentive is um, if you're DC DCA in into um, say hex, if you're buying small amounts of of uh, maxi, you're basically getting a representation of of a stake that's already been staked in the past. Like you're basically taking a time machine, right? And you've got that share rate from way back then. Not only that, but you don't have to worry about um, the gas fees uh, when those when that big stake ends, right? The the biggest whale on that ecosystem will more than likely pay the uh, the end stake function and pay the gas fees on that, right? So you don't have to worry about that. So it's a really easy method to DCA in just a little bit a week, a little bit at a time, build a bag of maxi, um, because uh, I think that's that's primarily the incentive, unless I'm missing something there. Yeah. Uh, bullish corrected. He meant uh, onboard. So it's restricted. all my onboards by Maxi before Hex. Same I think reasons that, yeah, could I th apply. Yeah. yeah. I think that's um, onboards. That's a smart onboarding, um, not mechanism, but like pathway. Where it's like, hey, this coin, you're actually starting with like a derivative, which is actually a pretty, it's a pretty simple derivative conceptually, um, like like a like a, a group stake, and be like, hey, like this coin, like in the background is earning you yield, and then let's talk about what that yield is and why, all while you're earning it, um, and then like after that, you start unpeeling the onion a little bit. Is it for, so people? So, so the play on, on Maxi is if you think the value is going to go up, the, the premium now is going to be much higher in the future, right? That's the key play. Like That's why the entire reason you would buy Maxi over Hex is it's Hex, but with a premium and is undervalued right now, right? Or that you just want to capture the yield at the end of the stake. Like if or, or if yeah, of course. Or you want to wait 14 years for, for the yield. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, like... It's Save like, yourself it's from like, yourself. I think that'll be traded a billion times before the 14 years are up, but uh, more than yeah. likely. But you know, also uh, there's probably going to be a lot of missing maxi over the course of 15 years. You know, mm -hmm. when it when it comes to redemption rate, do you think 100 percent of the maxi is going to show up at the door and redeem? I don't think so. Ooh. I think it's going to be a good point. Probably in the 75 percent range, if I had to guess, if I had to make a bet. Well, I asked Dip Catcher too. I said, "What what would happen uh, if if Maxi was burned by the mystery box or or otherwise, uh, or maybe via the well, deployer the address?" Or the yeah, the deployer already did. I, so, yeah, that's that's what. It was so actually. that Maxi what would will yeah. not show up to the front door of of the Maximus house and and ask for its share of the pool. Right, it won't show up. So everybody else's share just went up. It's well, just like tokens, what we talk about in in the. Pools I think the tokens of, uh, have to be burned. Either. I think the tokens have to be burned in order for everybody else's yield to go up because if they still exist, like say you send them to some uh, contract address, they still exist and are uh, uh, entitled to a certain percentage of the end stake. So like your yield doesn't go up. It's just like the total amount of sell pressure isn't as high. Um, so the coins what? do have to be burned for other, for you to capture some price, some appreciation. What? So, but, but when they go to, for redemption, what happens to the coins that aren't redeemed? They sit there. They sit there. Okay. Yeah, you sit there forever. Oh, that's sad. Lock of supply. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 yeah. It's like, Maxi it's like V2, sending... take the leftover coins yeah. and do what GIF was saying and make everyone's percentage go up. That's what we wanted to do. That's what we want. <laughs> I like that narrative way better. That was way more exciting, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry worry. to bust your bubble, buddy. <laughs>